everybody. <clears throat> My name is Umberto Maleschi and I'm FluidMesh CEO and co-founder. In this video I'll tell you more about point-to-point -point wireless links an outdoor wireless Ethernet solution for video surveillance and industrial automation applications. So let me start with a couple of words on FluidMesh. We are a global vendor of outdoor wireless solutions. <coughs> we are headquartered in the Chicago area and we have offices in many different countries, in the US, in Europe, in Asia and in Latin America. And we work in more than 30, 35 different countries. We started in 2005, we founded the company out of MIT, we were graduate students there in the computer science and artificial intelligence laboratory. And at this point, FluidMesh is a global vendor of wireless solution to enable the Internet of Things. We mainly connect object, intelligent objects to Ethernet and IP networks. So let me go back to the main topic of this video that is point-to-point -point, uh, wireless links. So there are multiple wireless architectures, also called topologies, that you can implement when you are designing a, a wireless infrastructure. The point-to-point -point is the most simple architecture and can be used, for example, like you can see in this image, to connect two buildings without trenching and wiring the area. The other architectures are point-to-multipoint and mesh networks. So the point to multipoint point is very simple. It's typically called Ethernet bridge. You have two devices in two different locations and you can create a point-to-point -point links, typically using directional antennas and pointing the two antennas to each other. You can bridge two IP networks to each other in this way. Consider that a point-to-point -point link operating in the license-free portion of the spectrum, for example, at 5 gigahertz or on the public safety band at 4.9 gigahertz, can easily exceed in range 15 or 20 miles, uh, depending if you have a clear line of sight. So you, you, if you are above uh, 2 or 3 gigahertz uh, in, in frequency, so you're using, the, for, for example, the 5 gigahertz spectrum, you definitely want to work in line of sight to have a reliable communication. In order to have a very high throughput wireless link that exceeds several miles in terms of range, you want to have the so-called Fresnel zone free from obstacles. And here you can see the formula how you can compute the, the size of the Fresnel zone. So the Fresnel zone is this cigar-shaped area that goes around the line that connects the two directional antennas creating the point-to-point -point link. So you want that area, that cigar-shaped area, free from obstacles. How big is the area? So the area, the size of, the, of this cigar shape, the diameter of this cigar-shaped area depends on the distance and on the frequency used. So the radius, you can see the formula if you're using miles and gigahertz, is 72 times square root of distance over 4 times the frequency in gigahertz. So let's say it's 5.8 gigahertz, is 4 times 5.8 gigahertz. And you want to keep as much, if not this entire um, gray area in the diagram free from, from obstacle. This means having a clear line of sight. So when we refer to clear line of sight, we mean having the uh, friendly zone free from obstacles. FreedMesh manufactures different products for point-to-point -point links. First of all, we have the uh, very easy to use bridge kit, the fluid mesh ponte. This, in this kit, you get two radio devices with embedded directional antennas that can deliver up to 50 megabit per second of throughput. This is the ideal solution if, for example, you have a remote camera, you just need to point to point link, uh, very easy to deploy, pre configured, uh, out of the box. Uh, it's the ideal solution for a license free uh, link. We also have the FluidMesh 1200 Volo, there is a higher-end solution that can also be integrated in mesh networks and into point-to-multipoint -point, uh, networks. But it can also be used as a point-to-point -point link, can easily deliver up to 150 megabit uh, of throughput uh, with a distance above 3 miles. So it's the ideal solution if you want to backhaul 
a point to multi point network, for example, and bring all your video stream or data streams to a specific uh, head end that is uh, a few miles away from where you are mounting your base station for of your point to multi point solution. Point to point wireless links have many different applications. I talk briefly about CCTV and video security. So video streaming is very common uh, that you need a point-to-point -point link to stream cameras that are in location that are hard to trench and wire. You can use, also use it to extend your Ethernet infrastructure. Here. So your fiber is not going to get everywhere. You, there might be areas that are hard to trench and wire that you can easily reach with a point-to-point -point link. So extend your wired infrastructure. Mobility application as well, we work very often in the transportation industry, for example, uh, where point-to-point -point links are very often used to backhaul uh, Ethernet infrastructures or other wireless networks, and also industrial automation for SCADA or condition monitoring. I would suggest you visit our website, www.fluidmesh.com, to learn more about our point-to-point -point solution, and if you have any question, don't hesitate to reach us. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.